In July, we celebrate Independence Day. So, we wanted to explore something made in the USA. We found a well-known toy made just to our south. The workforce is 200 strong, all proud to be making toys in America. Connects are made in a 130,000 square foot facility in Hatfield, Pennsylvania. The Rodon Group is a high volume plastic injection molder with over 100 presses. There are lots of practical items rolling off the factory floor. The principle is always the same. The, the raw plastic gets sucked in, mixed with colorant, melted, cooled under high pressure. That's the injection of the plastic and then the molding all happening at the same time. And then the parts come out. Kim and I saw some of the five billion parts they produce every year. They make things you never think about, like handles for big water jugs, bright red caps for energy drinks, and filters for inside the single serve coffee K cups. Tucked amongst all things practical is something really fun. Connects. How much fun is it to run a toy company? <laughs> it's a lot of fun. I have one of the best gigs on the planet. Um, I get to now make all the stuff that I played with as a kid. So, you know, I grew up learning how to read on Sesame Street, then we made Sesame Street building sets. I grew up then playing Nintendo games, and then we make Nintendo, Mario Kart Wii, and Super Mario sets. My kids started, you know, with Angry Birds, I started playing Angry Birds, and then we made Angry Birds building sets. So, all that stuff, Tinker Toys, Lincoln Logs, all the stuff that is just from all of our childhood, to then be able to recreate it, imagine it as a building toy, and see millions of kids enjoying it around the world, is just fantastic. They start with boring, colorless plastic. And they add color and imagination, and you have connects. A million pounds of the plastic pellets are stored in silos. But before they create anything, the Rodon Group does all their own design and all their own tool making. Is it more fun designing window latches and lip balm or toys? <laughs> toys. <laughs> <laughs> Bring on the toys. So then once you mix in the color, the mold that we made in the other rooms is in the press now. The plastic is getting melted and cooled under pressure, and then it comes right off the press here. Are they warm? And yeah, it's a little warm. Yeah. And you'll see that's where hot off the presses come yeah, from. Hot off the presses. Here come the green ones. These yellow rods for your Connects toys are literally hot off the press. The best part about Connects. They're made in the USA. Like many other companies, they did outsource work overseas. But in 2008, they started bringing the work back home. Now more than 200 employees work in Hatfield for Rodon and Kinex. Over the last five years, we've moved about 95% of the production back here. And we're making a vast majority of the finished goods in the United States as well. And we're one of only, I think, three companies in the country that makes toys on a mass scale here in the United States. And we hope that by being an example of how you can make it happen in toys, that if you can do it with toys, you can do it with anything. To compete in the global market, the Rodon Group is always on the edge of innovation. They utilize many automated machines and robotics. The latest robot that we bought is a guy called Baxter. He was made by Rethink Robotics, a, former, a bunch of former MIT grads, brilliant people. And he's the first robot, not only is the robot made in the US, but can work next to people and has vision and can learn. And, it, and so you, within an hour of taking Baxter out of the box, he can be working for you. <laughs> I'm too short. Okay, now I can. <laughs> he's making nice little rows. As more Baxters get deployed around the country and around the world, other solutions that are solved are going to be shared with everybody in the Baxter environment. So we'll learn from others, others will learn from us, and together we'll have a much stronger manufacturing base here in the United States. Mm -hmm. So it's just Baxter at this point. He doesn't have any friends? He doesn't have any friends yet. No, we've got the first one in the country. Oh, awesome. Um, and they're deploying them for the rest of the year. So there should be a few hundred out in the country by the end of the year, wow. and then hopefully thousands in the years to come. He looks very muscular. <laughs> get tired. Yeah. As if all that isn't impressive enough, the factory has less than 1% waste, recycling enough plastic to make 1 million Connects sets every year. The local made in the USA treasure even grabbed the attention of the president who flew in late last year for a visit. The staff built a 50,000 piece American flag in just a day and a half. And what did the president say about it? He was impressed. He said, that's what I mean by made in the USA. <laughs> oh, that's you good. Know, and, um, and 
And it was, a, it was one of those moments that you never expect to have, but was, was wonderful to be a part of. Um, and gave our people the feeling that really anything is possible. It was really fun to see how these were made. It's going to be even more fun to play with them. The Connects headquarters is just a short drive down the road. We design and develop all of our products soup to nuts. Downstairs here is kind of the creative part of the business. Upstairs is the serious part of the business. They wear suits and things upstairs. We wear <laughs> t-shirts and jeans downstairs. downstairs. <laughs> The Connects creative team consists of six full-time designers, four engineers, four duplicators, along with interns and support staff. Wow. Woo. It's like <laughs> Toy Central. It's Toy Central. It's so, a clean toy room. Yeah, it's pretty clean. <laughs> they cleaned up, they cleaned up for you guys a little bit. We have to develop in, in a way that's a little different than a typical toy company or product development firm where you would just draw ideas or do computer drawings. We have to build, you have to draw with your hands, so we call them sketches. So they're building connects, building Lincoln Logs, building Tinker Toys, they're making sketches of the products they want to make. And this all has to be within the confines of a certain price point. Make it up, it's a 40 or $50 price point that he's designing towards. So he'll come up with a number of different ball machines and we'll sell them internally. We'll sell them amongst the designers. We'll go talk to the marketing team. We'll talk to sales guys. We'll talk to whoever in the company can have an endpoint. And then we'll finally say, yes, it's a toy we want to make. So we say, okay, turn it on. And at that point, we turn the product over. And now we go through the process of recreating the designer sketch digitally. So for, so for all the ideas that are out there, how many of those ideas that you create out there actually are sold, sold within few. the company and Very make few. it? The story yes. used to go that for every slot that we needed to fill, say a one dollars item, we'd come up with 10 good ideas to fill that one slot. But to get 10 good ideas, you need 100 bad, bad ideas. ideas. So it's right. a lot of trial and error. It's the funnel, put a lot of things in the funnel and hopefully something great comes out. Duplicators then rebuild the ideas to make sure they'll really work for kids. 14 years of building toys. What's it like to come to work every day? Great. Great. <laughs> Do you have any kids, grandkids, or uh, grandkids. who grandkids. Pl play with this stuff too? Oh, yeah. And you get down on the floor and play with them? Yeah, once in a while. <laughs> yeah. Are they better than you at putting them together? Uh, no. No. <laughs> not yet, right? Not yet. Uh, no, that's a normal because anyone on the planet pretty much. The normal, really? Maybe the normal grandfather, but not the one that works at Connects. Right. You're not going to be better than him. <laughs> so right now we're finalizing our product line for 2000. And 14, and we're well into thinking about what we're going to do for 2015. Hmm. Is it secret, or can you give us some clues? Uh, some of it's secret. <laughs> tell us that part. The secret part. <laughs> That's a good part. And well, how about just tell us what we're going to see under everybody's Christmas trees this year? Um, this year we have new roller coasters at different price points, which are always a favorite among kids. We have uh, our newest license for this year would be Pac-Man Pac Pac coming in. now. So it's hitting the shelves now. We also have Angry Birds stuff, which is in its second year. That's right. And Nintendo, which is in its third fourth, year. Third year. Yep. We've had such a good time spending the day at Connects. I haven't had time to build this Ferris wheel. Marie, what do you think? Hold on, Kim, I'm just finishing up my last piece. <laughs> hey, great minds think alike. Let me power mine up. The building possibilities with Connects are endless. Check out this Connects car we put together. It's featuring Danica Patrick. I'm hoping she gets a win this summer at Pocono. <laughs> yeah, me too.